John Carpenter's Toxic Commando. Everything that we know so far. Guess what? I've got some very exciting news today that is just going to make your day. Straight from the director of The Thing, John Carpenter's Toxic Commando is finally hitting the gaming world, and we are looking at a 2024 release. Yes, you heard that right. 2024 is going to be our year, guys. Now here is the juicy part. It is going to be an Epic Games exclusive on PC. And let me tell you, the hype is absolutely unreal. We have some insider info that is making us believe and seriously hope that this Saber Interactive masterpiece is going to grace our screens in the summer of 2024. Perfect timing, right? And let's talk about Saber Interactive for a second. These guys have been in the game for two decades, churning out hit after hit. We're talking about legends who have worked on everything from console games to major PC titles like Evil Dead, The Game, SnowRunner, and the remastered versions of Crisis 2 and 3. They know their stuff, and Toxic Commando is going to be another feather in their cap. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into everything that we know about this upcoming masterpiece so far. Ruby. Ugh. On my mark. What is this game? Strap in because I am about to take you on a wild ride through the Summer Game Fest, which felt like unboxing the Ultimate Gamer's treasure chest, overflowing with dazzling new games. And, oh boy, in that avalanche of gaming gems, one shone brighter than a supernova, Toxic Commando. I mean, talk about a game that has got me on the edge of my seat. This one is the new co-op horror FPS developed by the Cool Cats at Saber Interactive. Sure, it might not be reinventing the horror FPS wheel, but hold on to your hats because John Carpenter is writing the story. Yes, THE John Carpenter, master of horror, the filmmaking legend himself. For those who might be scratching their heads, John Carpenter is not just any filmmaker. He is a titan in the horror genre and a massive video game fan to boot. Remember when he wanted to make a Dead Space film? Well, it looks like since that did not pan out, he is channeling all the horror expertise into Toxic Commando. We're talking 80s vibes, over the top, and humor, almost like Carpenter's dream playground. So what's the scoop on this one? This is a horror co-op FPS where you and up to three friends get to blast your way through hordes of monsters. And it's not just mindless shooting, there is an actual story to follow. And with Carpenter pinning it, you know it is going to be more than just run and gun. Plot and gameplay. Now, let's talk about the storyline. Picture this, a failed experiment to harness the Earth's core power unleashes the Sludge God, turning everything into undead chaos. And who's going to clean up this mess? The Toxic Commandos, that's who. You are not just any mercenaries, you are the budget-friendly, bottom-of-the-barrel kind, saving the world on minimum wage. Talk about an underdog story. This plot is pure gold, folks, with mind-blowing elements of 80s nostalgia, humor, and butt-kicking action. It is a refreshing change from those ultra-serious narratives that sometimes feel too heavy once you are actually playing the game. I mean, Carpenter's got the balance just right. And the gameplay? It is everything you want in a co-op FPS. You have got classes, a whole arsenal of weapons and gear, grenades, special abilities, and yes, even katanas. There is talk of a skill tree and unique abilities for each class, so it sounds like we're in for a seriously customizable experience. I simply can't wait to play this game and explore more of the game's world-saving mission. Honestly, we are just counting the days until we can share this adventure and experience with you all.
everything we have seen in the trailer so far. The trailer of this game dropped a few months back, and let me tell you, it is a wild ride from start to finish. So the trailer kicks off with your squad, the Toxic Commandos, all serious and broody in a military vehicle. It's like they are trying to psych us out, making us think that these guys are all business. But then, BAM! You give love a bad name, starts blaring on the radio, and you just know this game is going to ooze 80s cool. There is this moment where one of the guys in the back is like, we gotta be ready. And I'm thinking, alright, typical tough guy talk. But then, it gets hilarious. The driver, another dude, is all, no one half-asses it this time. Ruby. Nobody half-asses it this time. And Ruby, this badass chick in the back, just groans. Classic. The team dynamic is golden, especially when the lady in the front, who is obviously the boss, is like, on my mark, and cocks her shotgun. It's epic. They hit a zombie, and the driver's wiping blood off the windshield with this hardcore look. And for a second you think, yeah, these guys mean business. But then, plot twist. They all burst into singing Bon Jovi. Totally off key and everything. It's hilarious. They're not as polished as they first seemed, and I love it. Then, we are plunged right into the heart of the gameplay and man, it is like a visual party. We have got everything, turrets going wild, assault rifles in action, and melee weapons doing their thing. There's this crazy part where a player is just swamped with zombies under this creepy red and purple light. Talk about chaos. They've got all sorts of cool stuff in there. A bunch of rad vehicles, a whole lineup of guns, and some really weird monsters. All set to that classic Bon Jovi tune. It's just awesome. Honestly, the trailers got me hyped. It is obviously clear that there is a lot more to discover, and I bet there are tons of surprises waiting for us in the game. I think, no no, I'm sure that this game is going to be a blast, no doubt about it. But boy, the trailer really gave my excitement a hell of a kickstart. Release date. Though there is no official release yet, I think this is definitely coming around the summer. Why, you ask? Well, we did a bit of detective work on the Saber Interactive website. Between the releases of Expeditions, a Mud Runner game, in March, and Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 in September, Toxic Commando and Jurassic Park Survival are snugly placed. Sure, it could be a coincidence, but we are all about positive vibes here. We are manifesting a summer release. And honestly, the fun and vibrant vibe of Toxic Commando just screams summer fun, don't you guys think? Oh, and hey, if you are as pumped as I am about Toxic Commando, here is something cool to rev up your engines. So, they are releasing a comic book series as a prequel to the game. Right now, the details on how many issues we will get our hands on are a bit hazy, but you can already pre-order issues number one and number two. Mark your calendars for March 13th and April 17th, 2024 for these releases. Fingers crossed, we might be getting a fresh issue each month, all the way up to the game's launch. How awesome would that be? So there you have it, folks. We are head over heels for Toxic Commando's upcoming release and the kick-ass trailer that's simply a blast. Oh, and the comic series to get us even more hyped. I'm totally snagging those comics ASAP, and we'll also keep you guys updated with the reviews in case you don't get to get your hands on them. It really feels like we're counting down to the best party of the year. Can't wait to share all the fun and chaos with you guys. If you are loving these sneak peeks and can't wait for more, smash that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts, and share this around. And hey, for more gaming goodness and all the latest updates, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Until next time.
and we'll catch you in the next video.